Hi all and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make this lovely um, glorious glider. Um, quite a special tutorial today guys. Um, so this pattern has been designed and written by Jeanette Pope um, for a very specific reason. So Jeanette Pope is, um, is of the kind stitches of Andover and basically they do various projects to help uh, various causes. Um, so this is actually for a army museum to go on display in April this year, 2022. So it's for an army museum that's based in Hampshire and basically it is the 80th anniversary um, this year of the glider pilot regiment that was formed in 1942 um, so they're wanting to celebrate by displaying hopefully 800 of these crocheted glorious gliders so that's where this has come from today and I'd like to personally thank uh, Jeanette for allowing me to make a tutorial on this we're hoping that anybody that may struggle reading a pattern or need various um help on various bits will be able to follow along but it's a great project for any little boys or little girls as gifts any plain enthusiasts and I've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed uh, doing this so for the project you will need your selected yarn you can make them in any colours but I've used a grey white and black you will need card to go inside and a lolly, lollipop stick holder if you've got one. You'll need your stuffing, a darning needle, a 3.4, uh, sorry, 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and your scissors and a stitch marker. And then you will be good to go. I've put links down below of everything that I've used, which yarn I've used, etc., etc., and a link to the written pattern. So Jeanette's written pattern is also in the description box, along with uh, Jeanette's social media, the Army's website, and my contact details as well. So if you can get involved, that'd be absolutely great. They need them by April. Um, if you're watching this just because you want to make this plain, then I hope you enjoy it. And let's get started. So we'll start the pattern by making the fuselage, which is the main body of the aeroplane, of the glider rather. Um, so to start, we'll need the colour of yarn that you will be using for the main body and the wings. Uh, so the main colour really. I'm using grey in this tutorial. And um, we start by making a slip knot. And then we are going to chain three plus one. So one, two, three, and then plus one. What we're now going to do is an increase, a double crochet, and then an increase into the three chains. So we'll skip the first chain next to the hook and work into these three and it's a double crochet in the UK it's a single crochet in the US so into the first stitch I'm going to do a double crochet and another one so that's our increase so two there in the next stitch we're just going to put one double crochet and then into the next stitch, we're going to do another increase. So one double crochet, uh, sorry, two double crochets in there. Now for this round, we are going to be working in a round. So what you need to do now is turn you work around and we'll continue to work on the other side of the chain. So we're going to do another increase 
double crochet and then increase again so if you I'm trying to show it there you go if you just pull the yarn up you can see the three spaces that you've already chain spaces you've already worked in so you put your increase in here so that's two double crochets one and two and then in the middle one so just see if i can show you on camera that's there that's where your next double crochet is going to go and then your other increase on the end which is here so one and two so in the two end spaces in effect you have got four stitches so for round two we're going to just continue working in a round other than when the pattern states otherwise um so it's an increase then three double crochets and then an increase we're going to do that twice over then three double crochets and then finish on an increase if you're going to use a stitch marker i usually work um mark the very the stitch of each round so i'll do that for this video so first off we're going to put an increase so we're just working round now in a round so our next stitch we're going to do an increase one and two i'll just mark that first stitch that i did which is that one and three double crochets so one in the next stitch one in the next stitch along and one in the next stitch along so that's our three double crochets then an increase in the next stitch one and two and then an increase in the next stitch so one and two now we're going to do three double crochets again so one two and three and then our last stitch of the round is going to be an increase so that's 14 stitches in total if you need to count your stitches the easiest way is to count backwards that way round and then your marker is always on the first stitch if you get if you come unstuck at any point so now for round three we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch an increase in the next stitch one and two then we're going to do three double crochets one two and three then we're going to do an increase one and two then we're going to do two double crochets one two then we're going to do another increase one and two then three double crochets one two three then an increase one and two and then we're going to finish with one double crochet and that'll give you 18 stitches in total for this round so for round four we're going to do an increase two double crochets and we're going to do that six times which will give us 24 stitches in total so it's our increase 
might will work. That's one and two. Then two double crochets, one, two, and we're going to do that five more times. So an increase, one, two, and then two double crochets. So one in the next stitch, one in the next stitch. And then we just need to do that four more times. So it's an increase, then one double crochet, one double crochet, increase, one, one, until we get to the end. So if you'd like to complete that, and we'll start back from here. So for round five, we're going to do an increase, then we're going to do three double crochets, then we're going to do that six times for 30 stitches in total. So we'll start going into the very next stitch by doing an increase. So one and two. And just mark the first stitch and then three double crochets so in the next stitch we're going to put one the next stitch we'll put one and the next stitch we'll put one that's our three double crochets then the next stitch is going to be an increase so one one, two, and then three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And we're going to continue doing that around. So it'll be four more times and you'll finish on the last of your three before you get to your stitch marker. So if you complete that and then we'll move on to the next round. So that's the end of round five and you will have 30 stitches in total. So for round six through to round 46, it's simply just one double crochet in each stitch around. So 30 double crochets in total for each round. And we're going to do that for round six all the way through to round 46. And your work will start to straighten out. So it'll start to come up and make that oblong. So it'll start to curl up so don't worry about that you just push it back that way so you've got this on the um, front and the back side on the inside so it's just one double crochet or single in the US into each stitch around don't forget to mark your work otherwise you might get lost if it's anything like here I get distracted quite easily you only need the phone to ring or the doorbell to go um so yeah one double crochet single in the us around for 36 using total for rounds six to 46 so if you'd like to complete that and then i'll meet you meet you back at that point and we'll move on to the next part so at the end of round 46 this is what you'll be looking like um and now it's time to stuff the work so you will need your stuff in so just pull up a loop so you don't lose your stitches and then we'll stuff this and move on to round 47 i'd love to see the completed um items when you've finished so you can get my links in the social media um and the links to Jeanette's page as well. I'm sure she'd love to see them. If you've got any questions, you can pop them in the comments box down below. So we'll just stuff that to a certain extent. You'll, you will have time to fill more later. Um, so now we're going to move on to round 47. So we're going to do a... going to start by doing three double crochets so one just 
not going to work. Two and three. Now we're going to do a decrease. So to do that, you're going to ins insert your hook into the next stitch along. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Then insert your hook into the next stitch along. Grab the yarn and pull up another loop. So you'll have three loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all three. So that's your decrease and it's pulling those two stitches together to one. Then we've got six double crochets next. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we've got another decrease, so I'll just show you this again. So for your decrease, you insert your hook to the next stitch along. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop, so you've got two loops on the hook. Then insert your hook into the next stitch along. Grab the yarn, pull up a loop, so you've got three. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're going to do 17 double crochets, which will bring us back to here. So if you'd like to complete that, so just one double crochet in each stitch along. Which will be 17 in total. And we'll actually have 28 stitches for the entire round. So that's the end of round 48. So now we're on to round 49. And we're going to do one double crochet, a decrease, six double crochets, a decrease, then 15 double crochets. So one double crochet. And then a decrease. And six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And another decrease. And then we're going to do 15 double crochets around to get us back to the end of the round. And that will be 24 stitches in total. So if you'd like to complete that and we'll move on to the next part. So that's round 49 complete. 
Now we're going to move on to round 50. Now this is intentionally a uh, short row. So basically we're just going to do a decrease, two double crochet and slip stitch. So it is just four stitches in total. So we'll do our decrease. Two double crochets, so one, do that again, it's a bit, a bit loose that my arm's splitting as well. And then a slip stitch in the next stitch. And then we're going to fasten off. So now we're going to move on to making the white and black stripes at the back end of the um, glider. So we're going to be working in joined rounds for this. So what that means is we will always place our first stitch in the same stitch as the slip stitch on the previous row unless the pattern instructs otherwise and the reason for that is so that the colours line up better um, if they did if we didn't do that the colours would go offset and you would have like a zigzag zigzag shape where they join so going from grey to white to black to white they would be slightly offset so that's the reason behind it um, so round 51 we do actually begin in the stitch after the slip stitch for this one as the pattern instructs it and we're going to now connect our white yarn so if you can see that stitch there is where the slip stitch from the previous row was so for this we're going to actually start in the one next to it so not that one, that one there. Okay, so attach your white yarn in the way that you would normally. And then we'll start row 51. So I've stuffed. I've stuffed this now and obviously we can uh, continue to stuff it as we go. So we're going to start with two double crochet so I'll just secure it the yarn first by making a stitch uh, making a chain rather and then we're going to go back into that same one there where we've attached our yarn and make a double crochet and it's two double crochet so one into the next stitch then we're going to do a decrease Then we're going to do 13 double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now we're going to do another decrease. And now we're going to do another three double crochet. So one, two, and three. 
and then lastly we're going to slip stitch to the very first stitch so that's this one let's see yep this one here and you can just pull your yarn through at the back where it's sticking out there we go that's better where it was sticking out at the front right so <clears throat> for round 52 we're just going to do a double crochet in every stitch and then slip stitch to the first stitch so i would definitely mark your work um when working in join rounds so as we're working in join rounds we will put a stitch straight into the one with the slip stitch so this the stitch we're currently working in so one Oop, that's our first one so I'll just mark that first stitch so now we're going to just continue to put a stitch into each a double crochet rather in each stitch along and then slip stitch to the first one so if you'd like to complete that and I'll meet you back at the end of the round Right, so for round 53, we're going to change to the black yarn and we're still working in join yarn, uh, join rounds rather. So we're going to put our yarn straight into the same stitch as the slip stitch from the previous row, which is that one. So I've attached my yarn and we're going to do two double crochets. And the first double is going to go into the same stitch, of course, that we've attached our yarn to. Right. There we go. That's one double crochet. We're going to do another double crochet. Then we're going to decrease. And then we're going to do 11 double crochet. So if you complete 11. And after the 11 double crochet, we're going to do another decrease. And then we're going to do three double crochets. And then we're going to slip stitch to the very first stitch. We just love black yarn. There we go. So for round 54, we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch around, and then we're going to uh, slip stitch to the very first stitch. So that's 19 stitches in total, including your slip stitch. And of course, we're working in to the same stitch that we're actually in now so that's our first one don't forget to mark your work or it can be tricky so if you'd like to go ahead and put one double crochet into each stitch around and i shall meet you at the end of this round so that's the end of round 54 we're just going to fasten off and then we're going to attach the white yarn and we're attaching it again to the um, same stitch as the slip stitch on the previous row and we're going to start off by doing three double crochets and again put the first double crochet into that same stitch so one two and three I'll mark the beginning of the work now we're going to do a decrease now we're going to do nine double crochets one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to do a decrease. And then three double crochets. So one, two, and whoop, three, and then a slip stitch to the first stitch, which is your marked stitch. And then nextly, we're going to do a double crochet in each stitch and then a slip stitch to the first stitch. So don't forget to start in the same stitch you're currently in. So that's one. And mark your work. And that will be 17 stitches in total. And that increase, includes rather your uh, slip stitch. So now we're on to round 57 and we're going to change back to black yarn. Again, join in on the same stitch as the slip stitch from the previous round. And our first stitch is going to be worked into that stitch as well. So we're going to start with three double crochet. So one. Two and three. Then we're going to do a decrease. Then we're going to do seven double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. and seven then we're going to do another decrease three double crochet that's that one there some of these stitches can be a bit tight And then slip stitch to the very first stitch. So that was that one. For row 58, we're going to put one double crochet in each stitch around. And then slip stitch to the first stitch. So that's 15 stitches in total. And of course, we're starting in the one we're currently in. So if you'd like to complete that, and I'll meet you for the next round. So we're now going to change back to white yarn and this is the last two um the last two rows of the uh the color the colored stripes so we're going to start with a double crochet in the slip stitch from the previous round then we're going to do another two one and two then we're going to do a decrease. Then we're going to do five double crochet. One, two, three, four. five then we're going to do a decrease and then three double crochet and a slip stitch so one two and three and then slip stitch to the very first stitch Now 
and then for round 60 we're just going to put one double crochet into each stitch around and then slip stitch to the first stitch and that will give you 13 in total so if you complete that and then we'll move on to the last part so that's the stripes completed and as you can see there's a smooth transition of color because we've worked in join rounds rather than having the offset so now you're just going to um stuff the um stuff a little bit more and then for round 61 to 68 we're just going to put one double crochet into each stitch around and that'll be 13 stitches in total so we're not doing the slip stitch next stitches now we're back to just the double crochet our single in us um and we're now going back to our glider color yarn so if you attach your glider colour yarn, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, which stitch you attach to, but I always go next to the tail from the previous round. And then do one double crochet whoop, in each stitch around for 13 stitches. And we're going to do that for rows 61 to 68. So if you'd like to complete that, and I'll meet you back here. So that's the end of round 61 to 68 and it's almost complete so now's the time to just stuff stuff the rest of it um because this is our last round now where we'll close it up and fasten it off so this is what it should look like I've got a couple of lumps in mind try to smooth in them out but yeah almost there so for round 69 all we're going to do is six decreases, one double crochet, fasten it off and then we'll sew it uh, shut. So, one, one decrease. So we're just going to make six, one double crochet and then I'll join you back to sew it up at the end. So that round's completed and now it's time just to sew it up so just leave a long enough tail um to sew it up and the way i do it is a bit like a drawstring bag so i just go through the loops at the top like this Whoop. And just oh, sorry about that sorry that's my puppy with his little toy um and then just fasten in your ends and that's the body complete so next we're going to move on to the vertical stabilizer so we're going to use the glider color yarn and make a magic loop so to do this if you grab your tail end cross over and then what we're going to do is slip our hook under here pull this loop back through here, grab the yarn and pull it through to secure it and that's the loop we're working in. If you struggle with that you can chain three and slip stitch to the first stitch. So we're going to firstly put six double crochets into this loop. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're just going to close it. I tend not to pull it too tight at this stage because we can tighten it up afterwards. Again, if you need to count, count backwards and I would mark the first stitch of each round. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, it's curled up a little bit. I pulled it a bit too tight. So sometimes it does get a little bit curled up that first stitch. So if you need to check which one it is, count backwards. So we're going to start with an increase. So one and two. 
I'll just mark that first stitch and then we're going to do a double crochet and we're going to repeat that three times in total so an increase in the next stitch double crochet in the next an increase in the next and lastly a double crochet in the last stitch so that's nine stitches in total for round three we're going to do an increase then two double crochets and we're going to repeat that three times for a total of 12 stitches so an increase one and two mark the first stitch then one double crochet one double crochet and another increase then one double crochet and we're going to repeat that until we get to the end so we complete that and we'll start on the next round in the next round we're just going to do one double crochet into each stitch around so that will be 12 in total and that's when our work will start curling up and straightening up so if you'd like to do that and I'll meet you for the next round Now we're on to round five, uh, round five and then for this round we're going to do an increase and then three double crochets and we're going to do that three times and that's 15 stitches in total. So an increase, one and two and three double crochets, one two three and if you repeat that all the way around and we'll move on to round six okay so that's round six complete and your work will be curling up now so just it's this way to keep it the right the right side round so for row six and seven we're just going to do one double crochet into each stitch around and that will be 15 stitches in total so if you'd like to go and complete that so that's two rounds of one double crochet in each stitch and I will meet you at the end to move on to round eight so that's the end of round six and seven so now for round eight we're going to do an increase then four double crochets and we're going to repeat that three times so an increase into the next stitch one and two then four double crochets one two three and four and just repeat that two more times and we'll move to round nine so that's the end of round eight so now for round nine and ten we're just going to do one double crochet into each stitch around and that is for 18 stitches in total and that's round nine and ten so if you'd like to complete that and i'll meet you for the next part so this is what your work should be looking like and now we're moving on to round 11 so for this round we're going to do an increase then five double crochets and we're going to do that twice and then we're going to do six double crochets so that will be 20 stitches in total so an increase one and two then five double crochets one two three four and five then we're going to do that once more so an increase 
one and two and then five double crochets one two three four and five and then we're going to do six double crochets to complete the round so if you complete that Okay, so that's 20 stitches in total for round 11. Now for round 12 to 14, we're just going to do one double crochet into each stitch around. So that's 20 stitches in total. So if you'd like to complete those next two rows and that's the end of the round, then we'll fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing. Um, so here's one I've made earlier. So that's how, it's, how it will look. So if you leave a tail for sewing in, Pop that to one side and we'll come back to it later. So now we're going to make two of the horizontal stabilizers again using the main color glider yarn and we're going to make two. We're going to be working in a round but we're going to chain this time so we are going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So we're going to do six double crochets along this chain. So one, two, three, four, five and six and just like when we started the main body of the glider we're going to turn our work around and work back down the opposite side and do another six double crochets so i'll show you again so here where we've just put the last one will be our first if you do pull your tail across it'll uh, help you tie that bit in as well if you wanted to do that so that's one and then two three four five and six so if you complete that and I'll meet you at that end so that's what it'll look like so you will have two stitches on either end and four in between on either side and we're going to continue working in a round and these ones are quite simple so now for round two through to eleven we're just going to do one double crochet into every stitch and it's 12 stitches per round so i would recommend using your stitch marker um or you can count it so just one double crochet into each stitch all around for rows two to eleven working round it round the other side and we need to make two of these so once you've done this one leave a long tail for sewing when you fasten off and then you just need to make another one so on these here's one I did earlier that's what it will look like at the end so we'll put those to one side and then we'll start on the wings. So next we're going to make two wings, the left and the right. Um, they're done the same way except from the very end there's a slight difference but I'll show you that at the end. So we're going to start by making a magic ring. If you struggle with this you can chain three and slip stitch to the very first chain to form a loop or chain four, whichever you prefer. Okay, so round one, we're going to chain one and then we're going to put six double crochet into the loop. So one, two, three, four, five 
and the six. We'll close up the loop, not too tight. Then for round two, we're going to do an increase into each stitch around. So that'll be 12 stitches in total. So one, two, three, four. So if you'd like to complete that, keep putting an increase in each stitch around for 12 in total. So on to round three, I'm just going to pull the loop closed. We're going to do two increases and then 10 double crochet. So one and two, then we're going to do another one, another increase, one and two, and then 10 double crochets. And that'll give us 14 stitches in total. So if you'd like to complete working round and we'll move on to the next round. So round four and five, we're just simply going to put one double crochet into every stitch around and that's 14 stitches in total. So we're going to do that for rounds four through to five. So if you'd like to complete that and I'll meet you at that point. So that's the end of round five and your work should be looking like this. So now we're going to do round six and we're going to do one double crochet and then two increases. So one, two, and then another increase, one and two. And we're going to complete, complete the round by doing 11 double crochet. So if you'd like to complete those 11, and I'll meet you for the next round. So that's that end of that round and it was 16 stitches in total. Now for round seven and eight, we're just going to put one double crochet into each stitch around and that's 16 stitches in total. So if you'd like to complete that and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. So now on to round nine, we're just going to do three double crochet. So one, two, and three and then we're going to do two increases so one two and another increase one and two to complete the round we're just going to do 11 double crochets so if you'd like to complete that and we'll start the next round together so that's the end of round nine and it was 18 stitches in total now for rounds 10 and 11, we're just going to put one double crochet into each stitch around and that's 18 stitches in total per round. So if you'd like to complete those two rounds and then we'll move on to the next one. So that's the end of round 11. So for round 12, we're going to do five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five then we're going to do two increases so one and two and then another two increases one and two and then we're going to complete the round by doing 11 double crochets and that'll take us to 20 stitches in total so if you'd like to complete that and I shall meet you for the next round so now for round 13 and 14, we're just going to do a double crochet into each stitch around and that will give us 20 in total. So if you'd like to complete the next two rounds and we'll move on to the next part. So that's the end of round 14. Now on to round 15, we're going to do seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to do two increases. So one and 
two for the first increase, one and two for the second increase. Then we're going to do 11 double crochets to finish the round and that will take us to 22 stitches in total. So that's the end of round 15. We're now going to move on to round 16 and it's simply just one double crochet into each stitch around and that's for 22 stitches all together. So if you'd like to complete that and I'll meet you at the end. So that's the end of round 16. Now for round 17 we're just going to do 21 double crochets and then slip stitch into the final stitch. We're then going to tie off and we're going to change to the white yarn to start doing the, uh, the stripes again. So that's 21 double crochets and a slip stitch in the final stitch. So if you'd like to complete that and I'll meet you for the next part. So I've just done 21 stitches. See there's my last stitch and then I'm just going to go into the next stitch along do my slip stitch so I've just tied that off and then oops, sorry going to focus we're going to attach the yarn into the same stitch as the slip stitch so we're going to be working in joined rounds again like we did for the main body part just while we do these stripes And we're going to work our first stitch into that very same stitch we've just connected to. Okay, so we're going to start, this is row 18 now, and we're going to start by doing nine double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we're going to do two increases. So one and two, and another increase, one and so now we're going to do 11 double crochets to complete the round and slip stitch to the very first stitch and that'll be 24 stitches in total. So if you complete the 11 double crochet and I'll meet you back for the slip stitch at the end. So I've just done my last double crochet. So you see you'll have that bit there and then I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch whoop, to the very first stitch to complete the round. Just pull that through. So for row, uh, round rather, round 19, we're just going to do a double crochet into every stitch and then slip stitch to the first stitch again. And that'll be 24 stitches in total. That's including our slip stitch. So we're working into the same stitch we're in right now. So we're going to go into the same stitch for our first double crochet. Don't forget to mark your work or it can get a little confusing at the end. So that's one. Oh, that's there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. 
and then slip stitch to the very first stitch so now we can tie off and we're going to chain to black yarn so if you attach your black yarn to where we're just taking off this slip stitch and we'll start on the next round so for round 20 we're just going to do a double crochet into every stitch around and slip stitch to the first stitch and that's 24 stitches in total so don't forget to start in the same stitch as the slip stitch from the previous round as you can see it can be a bit tight i've caught my white yarn there I don't know about you guys but doing like amigurumi in this type of work really hurts my fingers <laughs> um so if you'd like to complete that and i'll meet you at the end of the round so that's the end of round 20. now for round 21 we're going to do 11 double crochets two increases 11 double crochets and slip stitch to the first stitch and fasten off and that's 26 stitches in total so can't see with the black yarn but we're going to go back into that same stitch we're in for one mark that work Oh, I struggle to see the stitches as well with black yarn. Oh, there, that's that one. So this is the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and eleven. Then two increases. So one and two, and then another increase. One and two, and finish off with eleven double crochets and slip stitch to the first stitch. So if you complete that, and I'll meet you for the next round so that's the end of round 21 we're now going to tie off and connect the white yarn again to the stitch that had the slip stitch from the previous round we're going to work into that same stitch and we're going to double crochet into every stitch around and slip stitch to the very first stitch and that will give us 26 stitches in total so there's my first one. So if you'd like to complete that. And then I'll meet you for the next round. So we're now into round 23. And again, we're just going to do one double crochet into each stitch around and slip stitch to the first stitch and then we're going to fasten off and that'll be 26 stitches in total so if you'd like to complete that and then 
we'll move on to the next part. So that's the end of the round. So if you just tie off, attach the black yarn again to the same stitch as the slip stitch from the previous round. So we're now on to round 24. We're going to do 13 double crochets, two increases, 11 double crochets, then a slip stitch to the first stitch, and that's 28 stitches in total. So we'll put our first one into the same stitch as the slip stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, then two increases, one and two, so that's the first increase, and then another one, one and two. Then to complete the round, eleven double crochet and slip stitch to the first stitch. So if you'd like to go ahead and complete those eleven, and I'll meet you at the end. So now for round 25, it's simply just one double crochet into each stitch around and then slip stitch to the very first stitch. So if you'd like to complete that, and I'll meet you for the next part. Okay, so that's the end of round 27. You just want to um, fasten off and then attach your glider colour back to the same place now for round 28 to 35 we're just going to put 28 double crochets all around so that's for rows 28 to 35 um, so one two, three, four, five. So if you'd like to complete that and I'll meet you uh, for the very last part. So that's the end of the round and this is where the next couple of rounds, this is where, this is the point where the left and the right wing differs slightly. So I've already completed the right wing so that's the right wing with the little flap on which we're about to do together this is the left ring wing rather so as you can see the curve needs to be correct on both of them so to do the right wing if you put the straight edge facing the left so that's our straight edge and we want to get down to the center there so for the right wing it'll just be one two double crochets and then we can start the next round that's for me anyway for the left wing we want to turn the work your other wing turn that over so this is our straight edge this is our curved edge and we need to get here so for me for the left wing it will be one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, 
17. So the same as Jeanette Pope's in her uh, pattern, hers took her the same as well. And um, that it, it may differ if you joined your yarn different, the glider yarn different at the end. Um, so they're the two that differ on the left and right wing. Everything else is the same, including these last three rounds. So at this point, round um round 36 we're working in rows now backwards and forwards so we're going to do a decrease first so go into the next stitch and do a decrease then we're going to do 10 double crochet one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to chain one. Sorry, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. Sorry, I glanced over at the pattern on my screen wrong there. So we've just done a decrease, 10 double crochets. We're going to do another decrease now. So another decrease. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work. So we're going to be working back along that row where we started. So you can just see it there slightly. So for round 37, we're going to do a decrease. So straight into the stitch. I'm going to do a decrease, then eight double crochets. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, another decrease. chain one and turn and then just to finish this row we're going to do one decrease in every stitch and that'll be 10 in total so if you'd like to complete this and that's the end of our wings so if you fasten off leave a long tail for sewing um, and then it's a case of us putting it all together so in the meantime I'm going to cut out some cardboard um cardboard for the uh wings to go inside them to stabilize them and also for the uh for the for the uh things at the back as well and that just gives the um sorry i can't talk and crochet at the same time can i <laughs> no wonder i find it stressful in my house with my little girl and my dog I wonder why I need stitch counters. Um, sorry, yeah. So it's just to support them. So I'll show you now what I'm going to do, but I'll do it off camera. Um, so I'm basically going to say the dog wants to go out to do his business. So I'm going to cut out... Um, 
cardboard to slot inside the wings and the two pieces at the back. and then that'll just support them um, now Jeanette on her she cut the cardboard for these wings cut two pieces of cardboard and then attached a lollipop stick at the back which I thought was a fantastic idea I've not actually got a lollipop stick so what I'm going to do is either get some thick card or double up and tape up I don't know like a cereal box and make it the, the, the cardboard itself much sturdier so whatever works for you, whatever you've got lying around the house, if you make something up, we just need to do the windscreens, don't we? So we'll do that next. Um, and then it is just a case of embroidering the windscreen and attaching everything together. Right, so for the final part, we're going to make the uh, windscreen. So we'll need white yarn for this. And we're going to start by making a slip knot and chaining 50. Sorry if there's a bit of background noise. Um, my daughter's watching a film in the other room. So chain 15. Now we're going to crochet in the second chain from the hook and we're going to put one double crochet into each stitch along so that will be 14 in total. So if you'd like to go ahead and do that and I'll meet you at the end of the row. So that's row one complete. So for row two we're just going to turn and do another 14 double crochets along. So straight into the first stitch. One, two, and we're just going to do 14 all along. Now onto row three, we're going to turn our work, go straight into the first stitch and do three double crochets. So one in the first stitch, two, in the second and one in the third. Now we're going to decrease now we're going to do four double crochet so one two three and four then another decrease and then we'll end by doing three double crochets so one two and three that's 12 stitches in total for round four we're going to turn our work and work one double crochet into each stitch along so that will be 12 in total so if you complete that and then we'll move on to the next round now we're on to row five so we're going to turn our work we're going to do two double crochets so one two then we're going to decrease Then we're going to do four double crochets. Three and four. Then we're going to decrease again. And then we're going to do two double crochets. Now, because we're not chaining one turning, we're working straight into our work. The very last stitch will be quite tight. Like you can see there, it almost looks like there isn't one, but it is there, so just make sure you count in the rows. So that was 10 stitches in total. We're going to turn our work, do two double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two,
so one and two then we're going to do three decreases so one two three and then we'll end on two double crochets so one and two then we're going to turn our work we're going to do a double crochet decrease double crochet decrease double crochet so double crochet decrease double crochet and then a decrease and then finish on a double crochet then we're going to turn our work we're going to do a decrease then a slip stitch into the next stitch along and then a decrease in the last two stitches now we're going to just continue by double cro double crocheting all along these edges so here 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 to meet back so it will be eight stitches along this side 14 on this and then another eight on this side so you'll work into this gap so one two you can see three then four you just about see them so you do eight 14 and eight and then I'll meet you back here so the windscreen's now um, complete so we just need to embroider it and then attach it to the plane so where the short edge is here your tail obviously sticks up here on your plane so you want that there and then that will attach there with the round part over this side so with that in mind if you want to embroider it as per the um, picture as Jeanette has done on the pattern um, go ahead and embroider that with black yarn it's done with um, creating a back loop so let's see Just going to look where the kind of the windows would be around here. The wrong way. So one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to go straight across those. And then I'm going to put the window up here and count the four stitches over Just be careful you don't pull them <clears throat> too tight obviously it's got to mold around but i just design it how you like the pictures there on the written pattern um but if you just go ahead and design your windscreen and then you're going to attach it to here and then we'll move on to the rest of um the build or the sewing the uh, attaching together so I've just finished the embroidery and I've attached the windscreen on. So now we're going to get our wings and we're going to line them up so both of the rows that we did meet there and both of the curves are there. And we're just going to attach 
this together. So it's just stitch for stitch, joining them together. There was 10 double crochets on the last row. So there's just 10 stitches that we need to join together there. So how I do it, I will go into the front loop on this one and the front loop on this one, sorry the back loop on that one, come out of that. So the front on this, the back on this. Just line them up. And stitch along to the end. Then once that's complete, just secure it, tie in the ends. Snip them off of yourself, finish that after. So now, where we've cut the card, so we've cut the card in the shape I've just used um, cookies. Nice actually, uh, salty cookies. And we're going to just slide the card in either side. Now this is where if you've got a lollipop stick it will help. You would just tape the stick over. I'll tell you what I have got which might help. Bamboo sticks, I'll just grab one of those. Right, if you've not stitched that up already and you're using lollipop sticks, then don't because it's easier to put it on. But if you've done it this way around as I have, uh, because I had a last minute realisation that I had some bamboo sticks. So I'll just need to do it the other way round, which is typical me doing things back to front. But never mind. So we'll slot them in. So ideally, if this card had been done first, we could put them in and then stitch it up. But sadly, I've not done. So it'll just need to go this way around and take them. I mean, they are going on display in a museum, so they're not going to be on show, these ones, but... And if they were to be used as a toy, you probably as well not putting the sticks in, I would have thought. Right, so there we go. That's our wings complete. So that keeps them nice and sturdy, so they look good on the plane. So now it's just a case of attaching them. So get them into position. And we're going to stitch down the centre piece here to attach them. So if you'd like to complete that, just so you can see, complete that and then I'll meet you for the last part. So now we just want to do the gliders at the rear. So we've cut out some card to pop inside the uh, horizontal ones and I'm just going to put the tails in 
right okay so we've got the card in and when you look at the pattern these are attached to about one row above here on either side so we're going to attach these first and then we'll attach the last piece all together So if you just mark, line them up, and then we're just going to stitch these on. So if you complete that, and then we're going to place it on the back. So for the last bit, it's just attaching this part of the glider to your plane. Onto to the glider. And then that's it. That's the glider complete wings are nice and sturdy let me know whether you've enjoyed it um, if you've got any questions in the comments pop them down there um, I really enjoyed doing it myself so it's the first time I've done that um, that was uh, Jeanette Pope's pattern I think Jeanette's done an absolutely fantastic job in uh, designing designing this glorious glider um, I'm sure she'd love to see your photographs as well. Um, so again, pictures of your work. Um, the links to her Facebook uh, page and group are in the description box. As a mine, I'd love to see your work as always. If you've liked the video, give me a thumbs up and I shall see you next time.